All right, folks, so this video is going to be for those who are just getting a CM link out of the box. You just get it shipped to your house. Uh, you either have a CD or you don't. A lot of people think you've got to have a CD drive to get it to work. Uh, you don't. Um, that being said, I've uninstalled ECM Link from my computer, so this is basically a, a fresh install. Um, I'm just, I don't, I'm not using the disk. I don't even have it anymore. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to ECM Link, which I've already gone to. I'm going to Downloads, and we're going to the full install. Of course, I've got Windows got Mac or Linux of course it's going to be a different program obviously we're going to go ahead and save it once we've got it saved we'll have to uh, open it up download it take just a moment here may have mom moments of silence here I'm just waiting for it to finish loading up here bear with me That should be ready to go. I'm just waiting. Okay. We're just going to get the program done, the firmware, uh, software firmware, try and get it to basically a complete install of the program. So, you know, to get you running. Some of this information I've already covered, but I'm just trying to get it from scratch. So, you know, you can have one video to refer to versus having to search for one video and another. So, I have most of it all right here. So, at least for the installation tuning, that's going to be you know different ball game, of course. Okay, so click next, 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 next again. I'm gonna let's see, run ECM link. I don't think I had to worry about that one. I could have unchecked that one, I believe. I'm going to minimize it here in just a moment after it opens up. I think we could have unchecked that box there where we didn't have to open it up because we've got to get the uh, software updated and then the firmware. So next we're going back and we're still in the download section. Now we're going to the latest and greatest. Again, I'm still using win Windows. Save. I'm going to go ahead and close ECM link out because I don't need it right now. Now I have to wait for this part to install. Now right now I've got my key in the on position and my cable hooked up to my laptop. Hopefully all is working well there. We're gonna have to go run the program here. And hopefully I've got enough battery power in my car. It's been sitting for a little while. We'll see how it does. I've got to opt to my battery, which isn't the greatest. But just waiting. Unfortunately, my car is down, <clears throat> just sitting in the garage, but at least I've got the battery still connected. So. <clears throat> Always want to get the software done before you do any firmware updates. Make sure you've got the latest software before you do the firmware. This one up. Sorry, that's my Facebook ding in there. I just wait for the install wizard to open up here. And this will just update us with the latest software. Now, a lot of times people will have a brand new install. They think they've got all the latest stuff already on it. As soon as you get it out of the box and you upload it to your computer, download the program, no, you do not. You still need to upload the latest software and the latest firmware. So just to make that clear, because you can upload it, but it doesn't give you all the latest information all the time. So another thing we'll need to do here is update or uh, download the drivers. We'll do that here after this one screen got to finish this wizard here first though okay 
right, so yes, this is updating the existing. Okay. I'm not going to run ECM link just yet. Need to get the one uh, drivers installed now. This is so that we can hook up to uh, you know hook up the uh, ECM link with the cable once that's done. Uh, I'm gonna show in the folder on this one. And on this particular one, you need to right click. This one we're gonna run it as administrator. Next, gonna accept the agreement. Next, finish. Okay, so now we're done with that. Close this out. Now we're gonna go to home. Close this right here. Well, don't need that. Now we're gonna go to the firmware upgrade page. Let's see. Final. I do believe. Well, hold on. I'm sorry. I need to go back. Of course, I'm not rehearsing this. This is as we go. So I'm opening ECM link back up. Bear with me. Okay, we will connect here. Okay, so now we're connected. Uh, let's see. Go on over here. We're going to go to create firmware request. Okay. Continue. And let's see. We'll put it in tuning folders here. We'll put a, well, serial. Basically, this is one we're going to be looking for. Okay. Okay. Now I can close this out. Now we'll go here, choose file. And we're looking for my tuning folder wherever it went. Let's see. Desktop, tuning folders. Basically, you're just looking for where you save that, that firmware request. And you're gonna, gonna go locate it. This is the uh, file we just saved for the firmware request. Okay. We'll submit that. Now that that is done and the key is still in the on position right now, it has to be in the on position for this portion of it. Okay. We'll click on this link here. Save. Opening. Continue. And it's going to ask, we would like to continue. Yes. Now this is where your check engine light will probably be flashing as this is happening. Sometimes when you're doing this, it may not, it'll pop up with the window looking, asking for the program to use and you won't see it in that program list. You'll have to go uh, look for additional apps or programs and you'll have to basically search for ECM link. And once you click on the ECM link program, this window pops up. So just so that you're aware of that because it doesn't always just pop up as easily as it did for me. Most of the time I'm having to go look for the ECM link program when you're doing this portion of it. So just be aware of that. So this is just uploading or updating the uh, firmware. And so we make sure we've got the latest software, latest firmware, and then we should be good to go. Then we can run the program, set everything up. We'll do that here momentarily. Generally, what I like to do, I like to make, even though it'll save an ECM link folder, you're having to go search for where all your logs are at. I usually like to make a folder on the desktop, basically just for data logs. So when I save all my folders, I'm not having to search for them all. Okay. And then I'll just go ahead and do that now. We're basically done with the ECM link uh, website. Don't need that anymore. Uh, if we were to do it, 
Okay, here's my new icon here. Normally when I do it, just right click, put new here, new folder, and then we'll put data logs. Okay, so that's the that's where our folders are, or our new uh, logs are gonna be is in this data log folder. Okay, so we're already connected. I'll just do a start stream. Luckily, I've got all my all my parameters already set up here. Um, basically, if you you know being that it's a fresh install, this is where you're gonna have to go install all of your parameters that you want, how you want it, your preferences, and so on. Um, you can click on let's say wideband, and then you have the box pop up. Anything you've got to set up as far as your you know if you want a thick line, line color, label, you know which is the name of it. Uh, display name, however you want it labeled, as far as wideband, um, AEM, Innovate, whatever you want to do. I usually just do wideband, make it plain and simple. Uh, apply those changes, save as just defaults if you need them. Um, and also, too, when you're setting things up, uh, you may want to get a right click here. Uh, whatever you set up down here, if you want them to pull up like this every single time when you're done setting everything up, you'll right click and set all uh, default preferences. If you don't, Every time you open it up, you may have to set those up. So you always want to do the set default preferences after you're done. Okay. Uh, may want to do TPS adjust before you get it started. Um, we've got graph, pre graph preferences here. Basically, how many legends, uh, legend columns, for example, like so. Um, I keep it four. Your font, how big your, you want your letter, want your letters. Uh, so on, I'm not, not worried about that right now. Um, background color, you can change it, say white, for example. Of course, we're not gonna do that either. We're gonna change it change it back, but you know, we have background color white or whatever color you want it. I'm gonna keep it as it was as far as black. I'm just showing you some of the little things you can do here. Um, go to right click once again, unit preferences. Airflow mass, I usually put pounds. Nobody really goes off of grams too much. Um, some people may. Uh, temperature, I know a lot of people either maybe from Canada or overseas are gonna be using Celsius. Most people here in, in the States are gonna be using Fahrenheit. Uh, whatever you want as far as the preference here. Uh, got different things here you can be looking at. I'm gonna keep them all as is. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, we'll go back to our main page. Um, course we still got our ECU config and direct access those are pretty self-explanatory just clicking on those uh, all your settings uh, but we're gonna go here uh, this page right here click file name this is where we're gonna be saving them to you can click browse uh, we can click our home this is uh, we're looking for data logs this is basically asking for where you want them to be saved at and you can apply that and you can change how the files are going to be saved every time you save them the names uh, or format uh, so on uh, however you want to do that different things you can do here though of course but mainly that's the main gist of trying to get it going and then once you're ready to go and you've got everything hooked up uh, you've got your uh, your drivers uh, downloaded updated software firmware uh, then you can start logging start your stream there you go so um, and of course, you know, like I said, I've already got all mine set up. Of course, my car is off, so i uh, probably be sitting for a while. But anyway, this is basically how you're going to be setting it up for the uh, new users who just get it out of the box. Hopefully, this makes the life a little bit easier for you as opposed to trying to uh, trying to read and comprehend that. So hopefully, this makes life easier. But anyway, if you got any troubles or got any questions, feel free to shout out at me either on YouTube or uh Facebook, which is usually easiest. Uh, I don't always see those messages. But anyway, that's all for this one. Hope it helped you guys out. Y'all have a good one.